of the blood of Jesus. Emmanuel, how's the tent, man? Ah, uh, the tent is perfect, man. It looks like the better one uh, we've got on this tent. Uh, did you do it all by yourself? I did it by myself. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You see, I don't buy tents. I just, I just make them. <laughs> Give me the grand tour. Well, our tent is pretty awesome because when you put it up, you just like go in and you push it up. Did you do it by yourself? Yes, yes. we did. Yeah. Look at that. We got three people, very nicely organized. <laughs> Sleeping bags, this. bags. Yeah. Now you have to keep it that way for two weeks. We're gonna try. We're gonna you try. can't let really it get dirty. To the end. Yeah. <laughs> Just to start, that this this was a mining town um, that started back in the 30s, and the Belembo used to be the fifth largest crucitile mine in the world, and there was about 10,000 people living here. Um, and that mine operated until about 1991. It, it was a, a very much smaller mine until 2001. So it's been a ghost town since 2001. So when our ministry started in 2006, just three years ago, we're actually quite a, a young ministry. Uh, there, was, there was just only a few hundred people living here. The vision we have is that to have a sustainable community by the year 2020. And with that, to care, provide care for over 2,000 orphan children, of which at this point now, 15% of the country is an orphan child under the age of 15 years old. So for us, we want to provide a total orphan care from education and health for over 2,000 orphans, as I mentioned. Although they're today's orphans, that they'll be tomorrow's leaders. Regardless, no matter what, they're, they're going to fall into that position. So, my brother, what are we here to do? Well, uh, Mark, we're basically here uh, to serve the community of Bulembu. Um, other working projects or ministry related, really uh, getting involved in the in the society of who the people of Bulembo are. Mark, I'm looking forward to the experience of seeing 220 students working hard, praying hard, you know, worshipping in the evening. It is, it is just a splendid experience being part of this. Um, so that is what I'm looking forward to. This is all my hope and peace, nothing but the blood of Jesus. So in Belembo, we've got we've, we've got an orphan care ministry, we've got a, uh, a health, we got a clinic, that we, as well as then there's a school. We've got in Belembo at this point now there's about five or six maybe uh, core businesses that we've started. So we've got a timber business with about 200 to 300 um, uh, employees, and as well as we've got a lodge. And the lodge last year probably had over 4,000 night bed stays. And lastly, we we just this year we started up a dairy. It's doing 350 liters of milk a day. And what's phenomenal about that is it provides um, for, the, for the orphan care ministry. And then also we've got a, a water bottling plant. There's a fresh, uh, fresh water aquifer underneath Belembu. We just started up a bakery just uh, a month ago. And so the profit from all these businesses go back into the, uh, the community to allow for starting up other businesses as well as to provide uh, kind of the, to pay for the orphan care and the education and the, the health services. Kind of our, our big thing, we, we believe in transformation. And that, as you know, it has to happen through the gospel. It has to happen through, through the power that Jesus provides. Oh